Scotland has stopped voting Labour. But I think most Scots still share Labour's values. They still want an economy that works for them, a government that's on their side, building the fair society. It's the Labour Party that's become too tribal, too partisan, too defined by what we're against rather than what we're for. Well, I will change all that. As Labour leader, I will make Labour a voice for Scotland's future, a positive voice, talking about the educational opportunities we will offer people, the economic prosperity we will deliver, the homes we will build. And that way, I think we can win again. I don't see myself as a career politician. I'm a family man with six children and a whole life outside of politics. I've been in the Labour Party since I was 20, but I only stood for election because of the Scottish Parliament. Hi. And whenever tested, I've always put the people that I represent first ahead of power or position. That's helped me win my constituency four times, increasing my vote in 2011. Ken brings a depth of experience from both inside politics and in the working environment. He knows what's happening in his constituency, he knows what's happening across Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ken McIntosh. My whole leadership style will be different, more collaborative and cooperative. But first we have to break up the party machine. I want to reclaim Labour on behalf of the members. I think that Ken will wipe away a lot of the special interest groups that currently uh, infect the way in which our party operates. He'll open the party up to ordinary members and their views and will create an atmosphere that will make Scottish Labour electable for the future. I want to use the powers of the Scottish Parliament to make a difference, to abolish the care tax, to lift the financial restrictions on our local authorities so that every council can protect services and jobs. The, the, the Labour Party has the answers for you because it reflects the society you want to live in, a more ca compassionate, caring, decent society. Ken offers a fresh and brave vision for a fair and equal Scotland and he's got policies to match. And he knows to make that happen, we have to connect with every place and every part in every community of Scotland. And he's already doing it. That's why I'm backing Ken. As the son of two head teachers, I know how education allows you to make the most of your abilities. Unfortunately, over the last few years, we've had to watch from the sidelines as tens of thousands of college places have been lost, and with them, the opportunity for a second or third chance at life. Under my leadership, education will be Labour's top priority. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much. Thanks for inviting me along to join you. That's great, right, thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. The workplace has been transformed in recent years, so must our appeal to employers and employees, developing a distinctive Scottish economic policy, one based on decency and trust, on sustainable commerce. Scotland has changed a great deal over the last few years and the Labour Party has to change to reflect that and I believe that Ken's plans will deliver that change. I want Labour to be the champions of devolution once again, to broaden our support, to go out and win voters in every place and every part in Scotland. But to do that, we must change. Join me. Let's reclaim our party together. <laughs>